This is Christy with Blog Ambitions. Today I'm here to talk to you about Studio Press sites. They just launched today and I'm excited to be one of the first to dig in and explore them. I thought it would do, be fun to do a box opening type video and I'm gonna go try and set up a Studio Press site for the first time as well. And so you can follow along and see what Studio, Pre Studio Press sites are as we dig in. So first, a little bit about Studio Press sites. They're claiming to be not just another WordPress site, it's WordPress made easy without sacrificing the power and flexibility, and it's built just for bloggers. And bloggers are my people, so I want to show you what StudioPress is so that you can decide if maybe it's... StudioPress sites are, excuse me, so that you can decide if it's the right fit for you or not. I even did laundry this morning so that I could get my Genesis WordPress shirt on today. So when you land at StudioPress.com, you can get there with my affiliate link. It's blogambitions.com slash um, sites. Um, this is the landing page. You now have the option to find out more about sites or just go back to shops. Today we're going to find out more about sites. You can read all the amazing details. Blah, 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 blah. Just kidding, Brian Clark. That's actually really good copy. Blah, 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 blah. Pick your plan. Okay. No matter which one you choose below, your studio site play plan comes with all these awesome things. You can choose to bill quarterly or annually. I am all about saving money, so if I have the cash in the bank, I'm going to go with the saving money option. So I'm going to buy this yearly. Um, and I'm going to go with the content. And it's just over $24 a month, so I'm guessing that's like 24 dot something. Let's go figure out and buy yearly. I already have a... Um, Studio Press site and I'm already logged in. Now, if you don't have a Studio Press account, if you've never purchased from Studio Press account, I'm assuming you're going to have to go ahead and, and create an account here. Um, so, all right, thank you. You've just purchased a Studio Press site's content annual payment plan. A very wise decision indeed. Thank you very much. Here's the basic information. So, what's next? I can go to my, well, whichever you choose to do. We've made both options very easy. Go to your portal or set up your new site. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Um, let's go check out Portal. We'll come back and check out the site in a minute. Maybe I'll open in a new tab so that we can pop back here. Okay, so this is my portal. So this is actually like the same portal that I would log into if I had my theme. So manage your sites. Um, I can set up one new site. I can go, um, let's see, dashboard. Welcome to my Studio Press portal. I like portal. It's a good name. And anyway, all my themes that I own. Great. Awesome. Okay, so if you want to go to your portal, portal is just your dashboard. Fancy name. I like it. Or you can go set up your new site, and that is what we are all dying to know about. So let's go set up my new site. Okay. <clears throat> let's set up your new website. This is fast and easy. You'll only need three things to get started. Hover over each for description of domain name, site name, and username. Got it. Let's get started. So easy. Okay. So christyhill.com. Christy Hill. Hmm. Username. I'm not telling you guys. Do, do, do. Almost there. Your new Studio Press website is almost ready. Now let's take one last look at your information below. Remember, your username is permanent. This is the case with all WordPress websites. Don't have it be admin, okay? Or your email address, doesn't matter. Okay, scroll on down and click confirm and set up my site. Let's hmm. okay. start. What's my new site? That's my son. It's christyhill.com, that's my new site. <laughs> Success, christyhill.com site is now ready. You've just created a brand new website. Now, are you going to start from scratch with content, or do you want to migrate content from your existing website? Right now, I'm not going to migrate my content. I want to check this out make sure it's what I want. Um, but you can click this option. So I'm mig migrating an existing site. If you have content living on another WordPress website of your own, you can seamlessly migrate that existing content on your new site with just a few steps. Or you can do, this is a new website. Before you go to work on your new site, we just need to set up your domain. This is easy. Click the button below to get started, or I'll do it later. Take me back to my sites. 
Let's click this and see what happens. <clears throat> Christyhill.com, migrate content from another site. Um, so they're giving you different op options. You know, they can you can hire fantastic, fantastic, fan, fantastic. I don't know, fantastic. Um, they're giving you a great discount, forty bucks. That's actually that's a good deal. I would pay that. Um, or there's different plugins that you can use so that you can migrate your. They're just giving you really easy options. There's one that you're going to pay to have it done, and then there's a do-it-yourself option. Okay? Bloop. So, no, this is a new website. Set up my domain. So, this brings me back to the manager sites, um, and it brings me down to here. So, um, that didn't give it a whole bunch of instructions. So, we have to hover over these things and figure out what's coming next. And domain settings, there we go. Okay, set your domains, a record. Okay, so pause for a second while I head over to Namecheap and set this up. Be right back with you. Okay, so um, setting up your DNS is definitely gonna take the longest amount of time of this whole process. So. Go ahead, set it up, go grab a donut, come on back, and then we're back to managing our sites. So the next thing we could do, it looks like we can access our WordPress site from two different locations. Um, you can click here and uh, view your live site info. This is gonna tell you a whole bunch of great things, which I am blocking out from you, but you know how to log into your WordPress site if you wanna type the URL, your username, password, FTP, and database information. Most bloggers aren't gonna use those logins credentials you can click there okay and then here we can click obviously the big icon to go ahead and see christyhill.com now this is the site without me doing anything and it has all the demo content in it it looks like or we can go back let me close out this you can go back and click wp admin and log in for the first time All right, and so here I am logged in. So it looks like when you set up a new site, you go ahead and have all of the demo content, which is great, it kind of helps you. All right, so something that's different, Studio Press, this tab right here is not in your normal WordPress setting, so let's go ahead and explore it. Site Tools. Okay, so this is just kind of a snapshot. It's gonna t tell you what's going on with your site. Let's we'll come check it out in a minute more. So Studio Press Themes. So, okay, so it's interesting. Let's check out. So here versus the normal appearance and themes. So if you go here, there's going to be nothing except for the genesis and example. So to load your themes, go to Studio Press, Studio Press Themes, and go ahead and pick one out. I have been loving Infinity Pro, so I'm going to click Use This Theme. It's installing, it's installed, wonderful. Uh, partner plugins. These are easy, quick, quick plugins. Love Ninja Forms. Okay. Content Optimizer. Goodbye, Ninja Forms. Okay. All right, so I'm going to click Enable Content Optimizer, SEO tool. Genesis, okay, that's my URL, security. Oh, basic SS, non-SSL or enhanced SSL. So I did notice back here, um, where was it? You can get the SSL certificate. And you can activate it for free. Okay, so I'll we'll go back here. Um, permissions, kind of just your basic admin type stuff. Okay, 
So save. Mobile menu bar. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can hear. My son is um, listening to Justice League in the background or watching Justice League. So enable a menu bar. Okay, so this is just kind of changing up. This is not this. This is the mobile section. Because okay. we all know how important it is to have a mobile-friendly website. Okay, and then SEO settings. And so, okay, I was wondering. So when we click SEO settings here in Studio Pro Sites, it's going to hop us down here to Genesis um, SEO settings. Okay, and that is just kind of your normal stuff from Genesis beforehand. Okay, and it looks like they already have um, simple edits and simple hooks automatically installed, which is great. Let's go to plugins. I was hoping that they already have like Genesis simple Sharing icon, yep, simple social icons, great, already installed for you. Ask them, okay. So overall, you know, it's pretty much WordPress. It's very um, simple, but this dashboard is beautiful and simple and not so complicated. So all you do is click it and you're on your WordPress site. Like you didn't ever have to install it yourself. Um, I think that's wonderful. All right, now for those of you that aren't familiar with setting up a WordPress website, maybe this is your first time, now you just get to set up the site. You already chose the theme, so you can go ahead um, and go to Appearance and go to Widgets. This is how it's going. most home pages are controlled. So go ahead and get that home page set up. Um, add in your menus, write your first post, add in your first pages, and you're done. You have your WordPress website with Studio Press Sites. Again, you can check out Studio Press Sites using blogambitions.com slash sites. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of Studio Press Sites.